Second time you've done this for Bellator. Uh, is it any less special Recording being able in to, progress. to fight in front of your hometown crowd? Um, no, it's, I mean, it feels good. It feels good to be home. It feels good to be, yeah, right at home back in Bellator, where kind of where I, yeah, I mean, where I started in Bellator. And, you know, I'm, I'm the, I'm the unranked guy fighting in my own hometown. Um, you know, that's how things align, so it's, it's good. Yeah, and I know you're in a little bit of a different situation than the first time that you fought here in, in Honolulu. You went to the UFC. Now you're building yourself as a multi-fight deal fighter with Bellator. So how does the, the Kai Kamaka that, uh, you know, is going to step in the cage this weekend compare to the guy that stepped in there last time around when you were here? Uh, just higher level experience, um, bigger stages, you know, um, higher expectations. And, yeah, just... Um, got better with with my my eyes my my skills everything I've, I've gotten better at everything it's just it's just much more mature in the game seen a lot you know in the past few years and much more prepared for for bigger opportunities now when we uh when we saw you fight in december you you got that win finally uh after a you know streak of uh non non-winning bouts um what did you think of the performance when you went back and watched it were you overall uh, happy with your return to bellator Oh uh, yeah, I was happy. Um, I took the fight on like three and a half weeks' notice. Um, I was actually in Florida, um, and then I yeah I took the fight on a decently decent some decent time. Um, but I mean, I'm, I, whenever you get a win, you, I'm happy because you, know, you, you deal with adversity, whatever you face in there, and overcoming the adversity in there. You know, fighting is like the least perfect thing. So the most important thing is is, is a win. So you, you, you can make the changes, you, you go back, make the changes, but the most important thing is a win. Was there any sort of like relief that came with it? Like, was there any doubt in your mind? Like, man, like, you know, I've, I've, I've gone out there, I've trained hard and the results haven't come. Was there any sort of time where you started to doubt yourself? Um, not really. I'm always in a gym, so I, that was the only way, and that was the only way I could kind of kind of forget or get past, you know, just get back in the gym. And I'm always in the gym. It was just waiting for the next opportunity. And the truth is, this game, you got to win. You know, you got to win. Doesn't, it doesn't matter how, how what, what the fans think, um, what, what, the, what your peers or the rest of the, you know, the rest of the community thinks. You got to win, uh, regardless of, of, I don't know anybody that didn't think I was winning, but, um, a few a few people, you know, um, sitting cage side, and that's that's the most. But that that's all that matters, you know. So, um, that yeah, that that was a big relief, just getting the win, getting in there, the, um, getting right back in there, fighting, being active, and getting the win. That was the most important thing. You got a tough guy in front of you, former LFA champion Justin Gonzalez. Um, what do you thought? What are your thoughts on this matchup? Kind of what he brings to the table and what some of the challenges might be. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I didn't prepare for Justin Gonzalez. I was preparing for, for you know the, the better guy. And not 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 saying anything on Justin Gonzalez. Just um, I I get ready. Um, they give me a name, and I'm always trying to get better with myself. Um, I train, I train with great fighters, world champions, um, world class guys, um, high rank guys, UFC, Bellator. Um, so to be thinking about Justin Gonzalez, I'd be a fool of myself. I just get ready. He's the guy. The tactics might change, but um, I wasn't really thinking about Justin Gonzalez. I'm sure you got a lot of people coming out specifically to see you for this one. Uh, what do you expect the environment to be like when you uh, when you walk out? Um, yeah, it's gonna be strong, um, strong, strong Hawaiian crowd, um, real, real lo loyal. So I'm excited. Kai, you brought up you're the unranked guy fighting in your own hometown. How important is this fight to that aspect of wanting to face a ranked opponent to get closer to the ultimate goal of one day being a champ? Um, my goal is to, you know, this window's only short, is to fight as much times in however many time in, in the time frame that you got in this sport. And in that time, I want to just fight the best guy, the best guy, what, the the right opportunity at the right at that moment. That's the guy, and I feel like I've done that every fight. I fought the next guy. Um, you know, may not have all gotten my way, but I feel like they were the right opponents at the right time. And yeah, I'm, 
I, I feel like this fight kind of changes the landscape of MMA in a bit. Um, you know, I, I feel like only two sets of rankings matter, right? 20 guys. Um, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm, fighting for, I'm fighting for one of those numbers. And, and on, on the side, I just, where I was um, a few fights ago and where I'm at now, um, it's, it's huge. Um, and so with a win, it means a lot for MMA. Switching promotion, getting a win, and then right back in this spot. Uh, it kind of gets past that and get right, um, you know, make people forget um, about, about the past. And when you look back at the last time you fought for Bellator in the state of Hawaii, you were a guy at that time trying to make a name for yourself, trying to, to gain traction, and then now fast forward, and you're one of the names uh, on the marquee for the, the Hawaii fight fans that are coming along with Alima and Yancey. I mean, how much pride do you take in that, that you're a strong representative of Hawaii MMA? Uh, yeah, I take, I take lots of pride in that. Um, just, you know, that's what I wanted as a little kid, the, the whole way up, is to be one of the best to rep, um, uh, um, in the world. You know, I'm not trying to be a hometown hero. I'm trying to be a household name. So, um, yeah, then that's, that's, this is always the goal. And, you know, you need to be in that situation at times. I mean, at some point, you got, you got to be the guy coming up. You got to be the guy coming up, you know, um, to mature, to, to know if you're ready. And at that time, I wasn't ready, and that's, that's the truth. Um, but, you know, you, with, with adversity, um, with every fight and every fight camp, even in the fights that I've ha that had in the past, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the next level every time. Hey, Kai, um, how special is it to kind of have such a large rep Hawaii representation in, you know, this hometown event, you know, with you, Ilimale, and, you know, just a good number of local fighters here represented this weekend. How special is that for you? Uh, it's good. It's good for the people of Hawaii, good for the athletes of Hawaii, and just, yeah, it gives, gives eyes on the state of Hawaii and, and the athletes, big. How's it going? Do you see this as a uh, do you see it as a moment of pressure for you since you are a hometown kid, or do you see it more as an excitement or rather an opportunity? Um, every fight there's pressure. Uh, you gotta win. You gotta and you you know when you when as you move up the the fights get more important. So, um, but I don't see this as anything different. You, you gotta win to get to the next level, whether it was here or Connecticut or anywhere else in the world, you got to win. So does, I, I don't see that as like the location being pressure. Woods? Yeah, Kai, um, obviously Justin is a strong wrestler. Um, have you thought about that, how you're going to neutralize his wrestling acumen? Um, I'm going to force him to wrestle. I'm going to strike. Uh, and... Have I thought about it? Um, no, not really. I wrestle with good guys, every, great guys every day, world-class guys every day. Um, so nothing, nothing changed. That's on me to be prepared as a good wrestler from, from the beginning.